2020 was, was a tough year. I think we're very grateful to be in the position that we're in, where we can still look forward and plan and, and get excited about things. And so as Gulfstream, we are very grateful that we are able to look forward and ask ourselves, uh, what does the future hold? Before reflecting or before focusing on the future, one needs to reflect a little bit on, on the past as well. So, I mean, Gulfstream is 11 years old now. So we've been around for a while as an organization and we've had many successes, but we've only been successful as a company because our customers chose to support us. And I think that's the place that we must always depart from and always understand that without the customer, there's no business. So if we talk about customers, I think we must, we must take a step back and first talk about sectors or the kinds of customers that we serve. So we serve a host of customers from mines to commercial road transport to construction. But if I start to talk about customers, I almost always inevitably land up talking about retail. And retail is service stations or garages as we know it in South Africa. And we talk about that first because those essentially hold our brand. They're certainly not more important than other customer segments that we, that we serve, but because it holds our brand, we sort of lead with that. The likes of Powertune, Boston, Pachladira. Sites all around South Africa. Um, Powertune is based in Boysens in the south of Johannesburg, with Pachladira being you know, a couple of hundred kilometers away in the, in the north of Limpopo. Gavin and I have known each other for 50 years. Um, we've been married for 46 years. And 12 years ago, I decided I'm going to join him in the, in the company. Pouchin has been a, in business for the past 60 years, and we understand that what it means to, be, to deal with obstacles and difficult situations, and that is where Gulfstream has been making the difference in our company, and they've always delivered. We are based 50 kilometers uh, east of uh, Lepalale, Alice Ross, and um, we are about 350 to 400 kilometers from the closest uh, fuel gantry. So the thing that we were looking was constant supply of fuel. Uh, that was our main uh, concern and then uh, what we were looking for. And then also secondly, uh, we on the kiosk that we are running, we wanted to manage it the way we want to manage it and Gulfstream absolutely give us um, that freedom to manage the kiosk the way we want to manage it. We always speak internally about what it is we do because on the one hand you could look at it and say well we supply bulk fuels to these different sectors and there are probably some other sectors in there as well like agriculture for example but if you think about what those sectors do it starts to give you a proper understanding of what your activity set is. So we're not just in the business of supplying fishing companies. We are in the business of supporting fishing companies and providing food. When we supply large transport companies, they are transporting food and other goods. We're a transport company that offers uh, transport and logistics services across South Africa and neighboring countries. We were looking for a supplier with flexibility in their offering both as a wholesaler with a, um, an on-base solution at our depots, as well as an on-road solution. That was something that Gulfstream could provide to us, and we were satisfied that their market pricing was competitive, as well as their service being perhaps in excess of what we had received or were expecting from um, fuel majors. Um, so we found that Gulfstream could offer us uh, the best of all of the aspects you would expect from a fuel supplier. When we talk about commercial road transport, we talk about customers. We essentially transport goods around the country. Careful carriers being a very, very clear example of, of that kind of customer. We will have a mining customer visit us this year in the likes of Taizo Energy. What's interesting about Gulfstream is that everyone just comes on board, including Shane, who is actually the founder of the company himself. By that, I would say, like, that's what I found interesting about the company as a whole and also my expectation is that as we actually intend to grow, Gulfstream also grows with us and they improve even further on the service that they currently offer us. Another kind of customer segment or, or customer that we would serve would be where we get into partnership with probably what I would call smaller wholesalers who require the strength and the, the breadth of a Gulfstream to partner with them to get to the end customer. 
A good example of this is Ramaliva, where through the partnership, Ramaliva has been able to build a business around the supply to a number of, of retail chains out in the Eastern Cape. When I was starting up, trying to get uh, an account, I went to one of the wholesalers. So they promised me, okay, we've got the product, we've got about 500 cube. And then I paid these guys. The whole week, I couldn't get a product. And the funny thing is that I've just started with this new customer. Fortunately, there was a strike when I was starting up. So I was hiding behind the strike. I said, oh, there's a strike. Everything is bad, 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 bad. Then the week lapsed and the client told me, listen here, that's it. We're getting rid of you. There's no strike. The strike is over. Up until finally, Gulfstream rescued me. When Gulfstream came to the party, then I, left, I never looked back. Ramaliva is a, is a great example where we've partnered with Siabonga to be able to deliver a customer value proposition that would often have been very difficult to be delivered in a, in a small independent business. But because we've been able to partnership with our supply strength, with our knowledge of the industry, uh, Ramaliva has been able to deliver to a number of stores across the Eastern Cape with a, with a whole lot of success. We're fulfilling a very important function in terms of um, just being part of what the South African economy needs to do. So, and, and these sectors are very interesting, and they're very interesting to explore. And one of the things we try and focus on uh, quite a bit is to understand our customers' business. The first delivery with Goldstream, um, we had to pay up money up front. You know, it's like giving money to a guy on the side of the road. Uh, you've, got, you've got the money, he's got the can. And uh, that's uh, the case it was with Gulfstream. Uh, Shane had the truck, I had the money, and uh, we trusted Shane with our life. And uh, sure, we've never looked back since then. Uh, what a trustworthy man and firm. Some sectors need to know that you are absolutely reliable and spot on all the time. Other sectors really need a, a very competitive price. Um, in other cases, there would be sectors that need you to be safe always and never miss a beat in terms of that. And you'd find a number of sectors need all of those things, but they may need those things in different uh, priority order. And so through our customer value proposition, we try to tailor uh, packages that make sense in terms of what that sector needs. But in order to do that, you need to understand what that sector does. Gulfstream is 75% black women owned which is quite significant for the oil industry in South Africa, albeit that Gulfstream is a small oil company. A large portion of our staff, and in excess, our, our office staff is represented by 60% black women. A large portion of our senior positions in the company are held by women, which, which shows you our, our focus around women empowerment, not only in the company, but also in the country. Clean fuels coupled to technology will be some of the big drivers that drive our thinking if we look forward. I mean, if you can order food by pressing a button on your phone, or you can order goods from anywhere in the world by just going into an app, there should be no reason why you can't order petroleum products in the same way. And of course, we're focusing very heavily on bulk fuels still, but we are also looking at at smaller, faster deliveries. And technology lends itself to that. So I see, I see Gulfstream being incredibly focused on customers and using technology very wisely to enable and improve the customer experience.